Hello everyone, this is Sunil Sharma over here from Speed Maths and today we have come up with a very very interesting question and the question is on the screen. We need to find the value of root of 6 plus root of 6 plus root of 6 plus and so on and there are four options and, it, and we need to find which one is the correct one and this question has been asked in many competitive exams especially JE mains. So let's try to understand how to find out the value of this particular number okay okay so we need to find the value let us assume the value of this 6 plus root of 6 plus root of 6 plus and so on let us assume the value as x now observe observe that this particular number which is given to us root of 6 plus root of 6 plus root of 6 looks very horrible okay now here there's a pattern here you know you could see the pattern is repeating itself and what is the pattern we have assumed this pattern root of 6 plus root of 6 plus root of 6 as x now what you need to observe here is inside the root this part is again the same pattern right so what we are going to do is this pattern we all know it is x right so I'm going to reframe this particular equation okay so this would be 6 plus x equals to x I hope you understood this one right now I don't want this root because if you want to solve the value for x you need to remove the root so let's write squaring both sides squaring both sides okay so when you square both sides on the left hand side the root will go away you will get 6 plus x and on the right hand side will be square of x right and you can very well you know take the terms on the other side and you will get a quadratic equation x square minus x minus 6 or we can rewrite like this x square minus x minus 6 equals to 0 we all know how to solve this quadratic equation you need to split the middle term okay here the product is minus 6 so let me write minus 6 here product is minus 6 okay and we need to find two factors two factors such that after subtracting we should get minus 1 the middle term is minus 1 now you will say how do I know I need to subtract so remember this trick whenever the last term sign is minus you need to always subtract the two factors remember this thing Whenever the last term sign is minus, we need to subtract the two factors. Yeah, yeah, right now. Okay. Now, since we need to subtract the factors, it's very clear that the signs will be opposite. Now, what two numbers will give you product 6? Well, one possibility is you can take 1 and 6. Second possibility is 2 and 3. But since we need to subtract, 1 and 6 subtraction will not give us 1. The middle term coefficient is 1 here. So, this possibility is gone okay secondly 2 and 3 yes if you subtract you will get it 1 the middle term sign will always go to the greater number remember this thing that means the since they have opposite sign 2 will have positive sign I hope you understood this thing okay so how do I write it it's very simple you learned it in your uh, 10th standard x square minus 3x plus 2x minus 6 equal to 0 you can very well write uh, uh, minus 3 later and plus 2 no, it's your choice you can write plus 2 first now what is common here there are two groups right what is common here you can see in the first group x is common so let me remove x and you'll get x minus 3 and the second group 2 is common you'll get x minus 3 equal to 0 okay now I'm literally literally you know listing down each and every step uh, so that my viewers you know uh, possibly they are from lower standard they will understand okay so now when you solve this thing you will get x minus 3 x plus 2 equal to 0 so product of the numbers are 0 that means one of the number has to be 0 okay okay so x plus 2 equal to 0 so we get what we get x equals to 3 or x equals to minus 2 now the question is which one is the correct one or both are correct now what you need to understand is you know, let me take one example here okay if I ask you what is square root of 25 
yes the answer is only 5 it's not plus minus 5 my dear students if I ask you what is square root of 9 the answer is 3 see you might get confused sir hum to jab square root lete hai to do values dikhte hai see remember whenever you have variable in the question like x square equals to 25 is tarah ka question hai okay and aap square root le rahe hai to aap actually aap kya kar rahe ho aap ye x ki do possibilities likh rahe ho kya possibilities likh rahe ho kyunki plus 5 ka square 25 aata hai and minus 5 ka square bit 25 aata hai right so there are two possibilities for x and we really don't know whether x is positive or negative so we write x equals to plus and minus 5 okay so whenever there is a equation and there is a variable associated with it then we write two possibilities but square root function square root function will always give you positive values why because the number inside is positive so if i take square root 25 it is 5 if i take square root of 9 it is 3 if i take square root of 16 it is 4 i hope this concept is clear but if i say x square equal to 16 tell me values of x then x will have two possibilities x can be 4 plus 4 or x can be minus 4 since i don't know whether x is positive or negative so remember one thing that square root function will always give you positive values okay so what i'm trying to say here is x here what is x here x here is the value of the square root function that means this x has to be positive right that means this is not possible right therefore the only possibility of x is x equals to 3 so this is our correct option x equal to 3 so option b is our right answer it is very very easy to solve it looks very complicated once you see it but if you see the pattern believe me solving is very very easy I hope you all enjoyed learning this particular type of questions. If you have any comment, any feedback, you can add it in the comment section. I will make such more uh, short videos uh, on JE questions. If you want more such videos, please do mention it in the comment section. Till then, keep learning. Peace.